In this video, we're going to talk about reflections with respect to uh, either the x-axis or the y-axis. So we're still using our function f. Um, when we're talking about reflections, we're just talking about either a shift around the x-axis or a shift around the y-axis, or a reflection, actually. What are reflections? Um, so a reflection uh, with respect to the x-axis Reflection with respect to the x-axis. So the x-axis is here. It just means that we're reflecting this way about the x-axis. So what's that affecting? That's affecting the y values. So this would uh, change the sign of the y values. And then if we were to look at the graph, so what would the graph look like? Well, again, it should look like this, but be reflected so it like kind of will flip upside down. That's going to affect the y, so negative 4, 1. What would be negative 4? Negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, down negative 1. Negative 4, negative 1. And then 0, negative 1, if we reflect that about the x-axis, that would become 0, 1. 2, 3 would become 2, negative 3, because we're taking the y-coordinates and it's just moving it to the opposite side of the x-axis. So over 2, down 1, 2, 3. And then lastly, 5, 2 would map to 5, negative 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, negative 2, 1, 2. And then we'll use the line segments to connect these. And so if we look at this graph, it should look like this one, but just be flipped this way. Um, that would be a reflection with respect to the x-axis. Next, we're going to talk about reflection with respect to the y-axis. So our reflection with respect to the y-axis. Respect to the y-axis. That would be taking the graph and mirroring it over the y-axis. So that's going to affect the x values. This will change the signs of the x values. So again, it would be taking this negative 4, 1 and moving it over here to the positive side where it would become 4, 1. So this would become 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1 with respect to the y-axis. Uh, 0, negative 1, actually, it's not going to move because it's lying on top of the y-axis. So it would just stay there at 0, negative 1. 2, 3 will end up over here, so it will become negative 2, 3. It's going to affect the x-coordinates. Negative 2, up 1. And lastly, 5, 2 would end up over here at negative 5, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, did I say negative 2? Negative 5, positive 2. By negative 5, positive 2. And then we connect these. And the graph should look like the mirror image of the graph that we were given. That's a reflection about the y-axis. 